Houston leading 27 to 21. Man Fouts looks. He's got a man and Joyner makes the reception at the 17-yard line. It's a San Diego first down. Began his career here in Houston and still lives here in the offseason. Here's Anderson ducking inside. He gets to the fifth. Pass offense starts with pass blocking. They've got to protect Fouts now against the blitz. Here it comes. Fouts stands in. James. Gets time. Lionel James. Can't get to it in the corner of the end. Coming up now for San Diego. 15-yard line of the Oilers. Spencer has blockers. He's inside the five, and he goes in standing up. Whoa. And the Chargers have tied the game, and now they send out the team to try the extra point. And they caught the Houston Oilers in a full blitz. And once Spencer got outside that defensive end, Lee. he nails it, and it's a 28-27 to 27 game. The Chargers are in the lead, and we still have a lot of time to go. 7.20 left to play. Chargers kick it off when we come back. And so has Campbell. Play for the Oilers. Third down, a long seven. They trail by one with two minutes to play. Here's a blitz. Long ball. Drew Hill's out there. He's got it. He's inside the 10 yard line. Exception. 29 yards and a first down. Victimized on the play. Well, let's watch it again and see just how it developed. Drew Hill is inside the Oilers from the two yard line. Luck to Rogier. He's in again. Same. Extra point is hit up and see the guy in the red pickoff drilled downfield and well it's going to carry too deep for Lionel James to blitz showing blitz. Bouts throws Charlie Joyner gets it he's across the 40 and Joyner's out to the 40. Dan Fouts dropping to throw again takes a look home run ball Trumaine Johnson's out there he's got he loses the ball at the 10 yard line there's a penalty marker down the contact here. But at the latter stages, interference. Cricky with Bob Trumpy at the Astrodome in Houston. Another one of those spectacular Charger finishes. Little train James, he got down to the 11. 55 seconds to play. Chargers trail by six points, 34 to 28. Timing pattern. Chandler's out there and he can't hold the ball. He's on down to have to. 51 seconds to go. Bounce Lux. They're going to blitz. Here it comes. Fouts takes a look. He throws. The man is open. Touchdown, oh. San Diego. West Chandler. They do it again. The Chargers hit the scoring throw on fourth down with 39 seconds to play. Be going overtime if this extra point isn't good, but it is. And the San Diego Chargers have a 35 to 34 lead with 39 seconds to play oh and it was right on the numbers by dan for the ball forward he's hit from the right side yeah, it does appear that he threw the ball forward. oliver luck taking a deep drop he throws tim smith is open he has the ball for a first down inside the 35 yard line rush kick is on the way it is up it's good two seconds left and houston comes back to win it You, you picked them all right. I, I, I said it would be an offensive game earlier, but I didn't think it was going to be that one-sided, but it was. <laughs> the Aztecs now have a chance to salvage a 500 season with a victory next week. State is 5-6 and six after drubbing New Mexico 55-20 to 20 tonight at the stadium. Pick up some of the highlights. Todd Santos, 423 yards passing, gets 20 here to Vince Warren. Watch this move. Shake, shake the defender into the end zone. 10-0 Aztecs. Later, senior Webster Slaughter, who caught 13 passes. This is a punt return. Goes through down the right side, and he is gone. 75 yards. Slaughter scores, making it 31-7. San Diego State, a fine effort there. And Chris Hardy, who rushed for 86 yards tonight, now with th over 1,000 on the year, a four-yard run. That made it 45-14, 55-20 the final. They'll close it out next week in Hawaii. San Diego State, 5, 33 left to go. And is well out in front. And Allen has 11. He's the key man on the board. Michael Cage has five rebounds. Don Haskins facing the possibility of his second loss this season. Let's see how San Diego State handles this press. Now, UTEP's quick. They'll double pretty effectively. Do a good job getting it across. Owens, Watson, and Connick, three guards.
yards in there as Smokey Gaines anticipated that press. Takes a little of the firepower out from in front, but you still with Allen and Cage have good size in there. It'll come down to having to hit their free throws. You might as well let them take too much time off the clock. Juden Smith almost got it away from Owens there. Well, he's got a great pair of hands where you can't make a mistake with Smith. Five minutes to go, an eight-point lead for San Diego State. The issue is still in doubt. Seven points against Brigham Young and the Miners' big win over the Cougars last half. That's Owens, good ball handler. Gives it out to Cage, and now Cage will come out. It brings Cunningham out. Cage circles underneath. We'll get the rebounding. There's a pride involved in being number six in the country, and the Miners want to keep it alive. They still have a tough one to come up two nights from now in Honolulu. There's the ball tipped around. They've got to hit the shot, though, and Michael Cage again comes up with a key rebound. Boy, that's true that they had to have, and Michael Cage goes out and gets the basketball. Now has seven rebounds. Larry, you pointed out about Hawaii. They have good talent. They haven't clicked yet, but it's there. Cunningham knocked the ball down, and it's Jeep Jackson scrambling to get it behind the back pass. There's Reynolds, stops it, he's fouled on the play. 2.20 left. Five-point lead for the Aztecs, and they're trying to protect it now. That's Owens. He almost turned the ball over in the dribble. Trying to get it into... opportunities and have not cashed in. That's Connick. Cunningham got the ball. Big Owens cuts out in front of Lockhart. Timeout for San Diego State as Owens makes a big interception as UTEP lost their poise a little bit after Cunningham got the rebound off the floor. A minute and 45 seconds remains. You see the score. San Diego State 64 to 59. Points on the scoreboard and that could Bobby Owens, he goes to the line. Owens out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Doesn't go. Battle for the ball, and Cage puts it in the basket and is fouled. And that could do it. The guy who kept it alive was Leonard Allen, and Michael Cage alertly picks up the garbage. Fans are going wild here. Has been perfect from the line in the second half. Eight out of eight. 30 points. 31. Jackson misses. Cage with the rebound. Has he ever taken charge? 67 to 59. San Diego State leads. Connick to Cage. Owens to Cage. Cage just directing traffic out there. They have failed to get it inside for periods of time. When they have uh, avoided that, they've out-rebounded UTEP, they've outshot them, and Michael Cage has just not uh, has not been denied. Dave Fidel was so good in El Paso against Cage. He's been invisible tonight. He has by UTEP is not good. Andre Ross whips it out to Owens. Less than a minute to go. We're down to 50 seconds. Connick shovels it into Cage. Very good decisions. There's Cage getting fouled. Leonard Allen goes down hard. The San Diego Sports Arena goes wild as you look at the Aztecs who lost three in a row to Wyoming, Colorado State, and Air Force. Look at Michael Cage. And they've come home here. And you could feel it. You said in our opening remarks, sir, that this team had two good practices this week. Cage shook hands and uh, Don says, "Am I glad this is the last time I'll ever have to see you?" <laughs> and he meant that with great respect. You think that's been a key, no. Larry? Once again, Utah Saturday night has to play in Hawaii. 